hello welcome back to the channel this is leah i'm gonna create this beautiful little girl i found her photo on uh, our beautiful life or our beautiful mind i'm gonna put the, <laughs> the the specifics on there and i just wanted to color her in i've had her for a while and her picture is so cute and i just thought i'd show you the process for today's video so the first step as I've learned is to do the line art and what I found out is that if I make the picture larger like this I think I go like 2500 by 2500 or actually I went up to like 1200 for on uh, the top side and then just linked it to make sure that everything was gonna line up perfectly that way I can use more detailed brushes and the strokes will come out more detailed versus more pixelated when it's on a smaller sort of like frame overall it looks really good <laughs> and I think maybe next time what I'll try to do is try to copy the picture instead of tracing around it just to get myself more comfortable with drawing and creating characters just because I think it'll be a lot easier down the line if I can create my own characters versus just copying what somebody else has done. But you know, we're, we're all getting inspiration from everywhere, from real life, from other things people have made. So I'm okay with this. At this level in my art, <laughs> art journey, I'm okay with tracing and copying like this. I do like all the details they have on her. Uh, sometimes I look at these pictures and I'm like I don't know how people come up with the concept of these things <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because I haven't come up with concept of things like that but the specific details that they have are so amazing like the details of her eyes of her eyebrows of the curls in her hair my goodness it's so pretty it's just so pretty all over and I just love it the website I'm gonna see if I can add a little screenshot of me like going over some of the things that the website offers they have more pictures of like black girls like black like there's a whole section just for like black people type <laughs> that sounds bad <laughs> but it makes sense when you hear it so they have these beautiful black ladies uh, these beautiful black babies on there and they're just living life and the pictures are so beautiful they also have other ones like fantasy ones like cute things like cute cutesy type kawaii things uh, lovey-dovey type things I found a picture of like a girl with a dragon which I'm pretty sure is gonna be the next thing I do I'm probably not gonna draw that one <laughs> I'm probably gonna wait until a little later to draw something but that definitely is gonna be the next thing I paint uh, it's so cool I just think it's so beautiful and I love dragons and although it's not gonna be my picture it's gonna be a, another black girl with dragons oh so cute so I'm excited for that this shirt that she's that the current girl is wearing uh, I think it's meant to be flowers but I did not want to take on that challenge of coloring the flowers I tried it did not the vision was not going the way I pictured it in my mind so I just kind of explained that idea <laughs> but I think the final outcome I like it and it turned out really good so that's what it, the website is ourmindfullife.com so yes definitely check them out if you do this painting I would say like tag me on social media but I don't really use social media so just have fun with it <laughs> uh, I have a lot of pauses in the videos I apologize I was watching Netflix when this was going on <laughs> so the show I was watching is called Supercell S-U-P-A-C-E-L-L -L. And it seems like it's like this all black cast and they have superpowers and I'm, I don't want to like ruin it if you haven't watched it but it's really good I think they're British based because they all have like an accent they are like Caribbean type words that they say that I recognize but 
for the most part they have the accent of like a british person and the the show is really good the concept and the plot lines are phenomenal they have like a cliffhanger that's set up set it up really nicely for whatever season two is gonna bring so that's gonna be pretty awesome i do <sighs> I don't want to be too critical of it, so I won't. <laughs> I'm just going to keep my opinions to myself. Uh, anyways, another show that I watched, because it's a very short series, it's only six episodes, so, and I had already started it before I started working on this project. Anyways, the other show that I was watching is called Your Honor, and it's something that Netflix... Oh yeah, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute. Uh, the other one that I was watching is called Your Honor. And it was something that Netflix recommended to me. That one was a little hard to watch. Uh, it's it showed the realness of what corruption can do, if that makes sense. Yeah. Also, I don't want to ruin it for you in case you do go watch it. But it's I'll tell you the plot of what the trailer has shown already. So it's pretty much the son of a judge, like a very prominent judge. The son of a judge accidentally has a hit and run. He hits a little boy that's on his bicycle. No, <laughs> no, that sounds even worse than it is. It's a teenage boy riding a motorcycle. And he the the judge's son has an asthma attack. He is trying to search for his inhaler. He reaches down, misses the boy coming at him and hits him. He gets thrown off the bike and he dies so that's kind of the story is them trying to cover up the crime because the boy's family is very powerful and it could be very bad news for them so there's just like some negativity that like it hurt my heart I mean they did a good job with the movie I mean with the show it's just it hurt my heart and it's just because the consequences of them staying quiet about it resulted in like so many more deaths that could have been avoided if they had just said you know what this is we did the thing we did the crime so they that's also i think there's more than one season but i haven't gotten very far into season two they're and it's not just because I don't like it. I'm probably going to see it through the end because I want to see what happens. It's just... It's not 100% well what I would have looked for <laughs> straight off the bat. <laughs> but yeah. So since I'm talking about other things that I'm interested in other than art, I'll tell you about a book I've been reading. Uh, it's called Fourth Wing. Actually, I've read the whole thing. Actually, I've been read too. <laughs> I use Hoopla for my audiobooks and fourth wing is on there so it's been read to me twice now and it's still so good even <laughs> i read it i got it i got through it the second time because i wanted to know like now that i read it and i know what the ending is i wanted to see if i could like spot different things as the book was going on and i did <laughs> i was like yeah i could see how that that was like understood in the end yeah uh, but anyways, the book is about this girl, not me forgetting her name, hold on, <laughs> oh my god, hold on, uh, oh my god, what is her name? Violet, her name is Violet, because, <laughs> and the main, like, love interest called her Violence, <laughs> and it's so cute, uh, the main love interest, his name is Zayden, and you know there's always a love triangle although this isn't really a love triangle it's like a line with like another line attached to it it's not even a triangle <laughs> it's not even attached really <laughs> anyways the girl she's like small for you know her age and stuff because she's had issues you know with like strength and her bones breaking throughout childhood anyway she's like i'm gonna go to this college because actually no she didn't want to go to the college what am i saying <laughs> what am i saying she didn't want to go to the college she wanted to go be a scribe she wanted to go be a scribe and write maps and talk about the battles and not be in the battles 
she trained her whole life to be a scribe and then for whatever like entrance exam the she like aced the test to say let's go to the dragon era area and her mom pretty much forces her to go her mom is like the kind of like the president if you would think of it like that of the college she's like a war general type person uh anyways her mom forces her to go and she's like i'm gonna die <laughs> but her older sister is also a dragon rider and she gives her some tips including don't wear the shoes you were gonna wear because there's no grip on them wear these instead so she also says don't make friends because you're gonna essentially die they're gonna die and you're gonna feel bad so don't make friends so first thing she does is make a friend <laughs> she actually makes two friends one of them is a boy and one of them is a girl uh the she ends up switching one of her shoes with the girl uh she's like hey I want you to live as you I want you to have a chance as much as I have a chance essentially so she switches shoes with the girl and they both make it across you know otherwise it'd be a very short book <laughs> every time she thinks she's gonna die I keep thinking honey you are the main character if you die there would be a lot less pages <laughs> oh my gosh anyways she survives and you know things happen they get dragons like this that's the progression of the story is like you have to go through the college and get a dragon and bond to the dragon and you know I, also i don't want to give away this story either because i want you guys to go read the book and um and support the author so i'll, I'll have it on the screen somewhere for you to for you to go check it out there's two books already and i think there's a third one in the making i haven't read the second book yet but I am sure it's gonna be equally as great. I want to hear more about the dragons. Uh, what else can I talk about for the next 20 minutes? <laughs> Sorry. I didn't plan out anything to say for this video. I just wanted to talk. I wanted to post something. Uh, really, I just wanted to show you the art I've been making. I have another video that I already made. I just never posted it which I was trying to post it before I got 50 subscribers because I'm also working on something that was going to be revealed once I got to 50 subscribers and I don't know how much I have in this moment but the last time I checked I was at 52 which is very awesome thank you 52 people I'm really impressed that you guys like my videos and like want to hear me talk and <laughs> talk about silly things <laughs> and show you my art um i'm very overwhelmed sometimes by the idea that 52 people know me <laughs> or like know my face i should say uh it's it's a little overwhelming sometimes but you know that's what it's like to be alive and to exist <laughs> speaking of being alive and existing how are you guys doing like i don't do like vlog type things but i just want to know how you guys are I don't know if this is considered interaction. <laughs> mm. Here's a question I can ask. What's your favorite flavor of donut? Because my girl in this photo is eating a donut and I gave her a strawberry donut. You would think that strawberry donut with sprinkles is my favorite. It is not. I just thought it would be a good color combination. My favorite donut is actually the lemon filled donut that they have a Krispy Kreme. It's really good <laughs> and I like I like the filling like it's a very good lemon filling a close second is the jelly donut that they have at Dunkin Donuts but yeah lemon from Krispy Kreme is the best and I get to enjoy it because it's not as easily accessible to me so when I get it it's like yeah that's the good stuff <laughs> yeah and then another question I can ask, I guess, is if you could color your hair any color, what color would you want it to be? Because she has blue hair and for a brief time I had blue hair. I also had pink hair. And when my hair, when I first tried to get blue hair, it turned green. So technically I've had three color hair. <laughs> but 
if you could have a different color hair what color hair would you want i i mean everybody has the option to switch up their hair in a day you know you can buy different wigs and some wigs are very natural looking they might be a little more pricey but they're very natural looking i was having a hard time trying to figure out how to get the color of her hair like right because i like the idea of having the blue hair but the lines i thought the black was too black and i don't know the blue this blue i like i end up changing it at the end anyway <laughs> but this blue i think looked really good i i ended up doing a little bit different color wise but the concept is still there she her hair is still kind of blue <laughs> it's just not as vibrant in the end product <laughs> You know, you know, it don't make no sense. I don't know if I'm copyrighted by singing along to the songs I'm listening to. <laughs> also, I don't even know if this audio is even going to make it into the video. I mean, what if I sound crazy? What if you can hear the AC? What if you can hear the clock ticking and it's annoying? What if you can hear the swish of my hair as I'm turning side to side or like as I scratch my leg? That's not good audio. <laughs> oh, if you're here for any nursing tips, I have not made a video nursing related yet. I don't know. I have some anxiety about it because I want to do a good job and I feel like I'm going to feel upset with myself if I'm not doing a good job and I want to be more comfortable in my role before I'm like hey here's some nurse stuff <laughs> you know what I mean so I think in a little later I'll try to work on it I might do more arts and craft things because you know that brings me a lot of joy right now the anxiety is not as high with those and then as time goes on, I'll add in some nurse stuff here and there. So I highly recommend Registered Nurse RN. She's a great teacher and I don't mind if she gets the views and I don't. <laughs> mm. I think that at this point in my life, it's no. No, I'm not going to talk about that. Mm. Let me see what I can talk about. Let me ask Google what's good stuff to talk about on videos. What's... Mm. Okay. So, there's some questions for YouTube in 2024 it's a 200 best questions for YouTube uh, okay so I'm gonna ask some things and I'll answer some things because you can't ask me anything you don't know what I am well you don't know anything about this video okay do you like to exercise in the morning or the evening this is it's I'm gonna say both <laughs> Because the evening is my morning. I work night shift, so my wake up time is like 3 p.m. So if I'm working out, I'd rather just wake up and just do it right away. So my morning is the evening, so yes, I do like to exercise in the morning slash evening. <laughs> if you could choose, would you rather fly or be invisible? This, this is a hard one. And I have stipulations <laughs> because if I'm able to fly I don't know if it's just like I just get up and go or if I get to have some wings and fly if I can just get up and go and you know I don't have to worry about losing air or anything as I'm flying higher than planes <laughs> I don't mind flying if I get to do wings 
and I don't have to become like a government experiment experiment I would love to do that too also with the invisibility is it I'm invisible with the clothes I'm wearing or do I have to be naked to be invisible because if I have to be naked to be invisible I don't want to do that Blah. so I would do flying if I get to have wings and I'm not a experiment uh yeah I think that would do I would definitely do flying how well do you think you'd survive on a deserted island I do not think I would survive on a deserted island. I don't think I can survive on land just just here. I need a lot of help. Um, what kind of an exercise do you enjoy the most? I really love dancing. I dance with the Wii often and a lot. And it's a lot of fun. I, yeah, dancing is my favorite. Uh, do you like gardening? I... I don't hate it if it's a cool day it's actually very nice if it's hot I don't want to be outside <laughs> but I have pulled weeds that's been very satisfying did not realize how far they grow under underground they're very like like a little subway system almost like they're connected in a weird way <laughs> what is your favorite color I have two favorite colors blue and purple are my favorite colors uh, I don't know. I'm blue out of. <laughs> I always say blue is my favorite color out of uh, Rebellion. Because when I was younger, my mom always said that blue is for boys. And I was like, I like blue. Or do I? <laughs> I love blue. And then I love purple because I've heard that it's like the color of royalty. So I'm like, yeah, I can be a rebellious royal, sure. Have you been in any oceans? Um. I guess technically I've been in the ocean because I've been in water that's connected to the ocean. <laughs> I don't know if that's the idea that's going for. What was your favorite childhood toy? I don't know if I had a favorite childhood toy. I've had like toys in different times growing up. I don't know if anybody, I mean, if I don't know if anyone is actually a favorite. I've had favorite during different stages, like when I went to high school for the first time I went to a boarding school and I had a stuffed scooby-doo so that was like my comfort animal when I was there I don't think I had a lot of specific toys during my younger childhood uh, do you enjoy watching TV talent shows no <laughs> I remember when I was younger like we had like stuff in Jamaica that was talenty and it was fun uh, so I guess that, like, I remember more the spending time with the family part of it, not so much the people doing the talent. Do you like scary movies? I don't. <laughs> I, I don't mind being scared. I don't like when they're based off, real, off of, like, a, a real event, because my brain goes away with it and I don't like that. Uh, I love sci-fi movies, so I love movies about AI and space and like monster type things i like those if they're scary i guess that's okay because it's in my brain it's like that's really not gonna happen but like well that movie called wrong turn it was like based on a real story and i was like no thank you <laughs> but i had to watch it i had no choice but to watch it i was getting my hair done and it came on the tv and i was like ah how do you like to relax and unwind this is it i love to paint i love to draw i love to do crafts uh when i'm not um, i don't want to say forced when i'm not required to do it it's better because i can go at my own pace i can do what i like like with this girl's shirt i just learned about how to do the the liquify tool how to do all those different things to push and pull to make these cool little patterns and I got to do that with her shirt because I wasn't like required to do any specific color or texture or whatever so when it, when I can do things like that I like it um okay what was the last film you watched oh this is hard I watch a lot of things I don't remember the last film Mm. dang that was a hard one i watch so many things i really love movies <clears throat> the 
The last movie I watched in the theater was the new Godzilla movie. That was pretty good. I watched it in 4D. That was amazing. I never knew that existed before I went. And it was like being on a roller coaster, which was freaking amazing. <laughs> like all the movements, the shaking, the puffs of air, the puffs of water on you. It was phenomenal. I loved it. Have you ever cried while watching a movie? I cry all the time when doing movies. I cry watching YouTube videos sometimes. Sometimes it's just the music that gets you and sometimes it's the story. But yes, I do. I do cry watching movies. What is the most daring thing you've ever done? Mm, I don't think I'm very daring. I've done a lot of like love confessions, <laughs> which is just like weird. <laughs> oh my God. In my early 20s, I was such a pygmisha. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I've grown. I feel like I've grown a lot. I'm more cognizant of how I'm feeling versus like how other people are. So I'm more in tune to my own sort of like, do I actually like this person or do I just like to be around this person? yeah i guess that's the most daring thing i've ever done was to be like i can confess my love even though it probably wasn't love <laughs> um what is your dream travel destination i love the idea of going to japan i would love to go to japan one day uh, my friend in japan is actually going to be coming here this year so that's going to be very exciting uh I don't really want to go for like travel I just want to go to like experience the stuff I've always seen in like anime and manga and stuff um there's some couple holiday I mean a couple questions that I can't answer um okay there's something okay <laughs> okay so there's some like other questions okay here's one do you believe in love at first sight old me would have said yes new me says no i feel like being lost at first sight like you can be very lusting for somebody but then it's not love because for me anyway it's it's not love because it's not like i'm like attracted to you and if you leave i'm gonna like physically feel like my heart is breaking it's more like oh my god i wish i could see you a little more yeah um let's see mm, here's some funny things um how many pillows do you need for a comfy night's sleep mm, two now it's three sometimes but no <laughs> usually two if you were interested in someone who would be your dream partner oh god i don't know <laughs> i don't know that's a hard one i just yeah, that's a hard one i'm gonna skip that one if you were a vegetable what type would you be if i was a vegetable what would i want to be mm, i think i would be a red leaf lettuce because they're very pretty and they're the top of them are very curly and i like how fluffy they are like it's a very cute look i like it a lot uh what is your silliest fear i'm afraid of frogs and it's taken me so long to even say the word. <laughs> For so long, I just called them the unmentionables. They were like, my Lord Voldemort, he should not be named. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm working on getting over it, but I don't know where the fear came from. They're just gross. And I think they just moved too fast for me to like protect myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Can you make a funny face? Yes, I'm making one now, but you can't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay i'm getting to the close and i'm getting to the end of the video so i just need to wrap up pretty much i got this little girl off the internet i'll post all the things on the video she's very cute i love the finished product i told you that i would change the blue in her hair so it kind of is blue but also not blue she's just so cute sorry for just talking your head off for the last 30 minutes Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. And I'm going to see you next time in the next video. Bye.